Here we are for day three of our Hold On to the Word Bible series. And today we're going to look at how the Bible is all about Jesus. Today's going to be more of a part one covering how the Old Testament is about Jesus. And some might say Jesus didn't come onto the scene till the New Testament. So how is the Old Testament about Jesus as well? I'm glad you asked. We're going to get into that today. He's the only one that was and is and never will be. Proofing evidence of him is taller than the building. Since the sixth story's coinciding for his glory. Minus just another that he's adding to his glory. So throughout the whole Old Testament scripture, God kept speaking this consistent message that there would be someone very special coming in the future who would deliver his people and be their king. The term for this individual was Messiah. What does Messiah mean? It means anointed one. Well, what does anointed mean? Anointed was a term given to those chosen and blessed by God for a specific purpose. For example, in the scriptures, those who were anointed were usually prophets, priests, kings. So like King David was anointed by God to be the king. So before Jesus came on the scene, many people were already waiting and looking for this promised anointed one called the Messiah. By the way, the word Christ is just the Greek word for Messiah. So when we say Jesus Christ, we're really saying Jesus the Messiah. Christ is not Jesus's last name, but rather his title of anointed one. All right, now what specific passages of the Old Testament foretold that Jesus was coming as deliverer and king? Well, let's start at the beginning. After Adam and Eve fell into sin, deceived by the devil, also called the serpent, God told the devil, I will make enemies of you and the woman, and of your offspring and her descendant. He shall bruise you on the head and you shall bruise him on the heel. Genesis 3.15. So from the very beginning, God declared that one of the descendants of Eve would bruise the devil's head and the devil would bruise that descendant on the heel. That sounds a lot like Jesus on the cross already because we know Jesus won the victory over Satan on the cross while his heel was literally thrust through with a nail. So from the very beginning, God foretold of Jesus coming as our savior and made known that he was going to destroy the works of the devil as 1 John 3.8 puts it. All right, so who else in the Old Testament foretold Jesus is coming? You guessed it, Moses. In Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, Moses records that God told him, I will raise up for them a prophet among their countrymen like you, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them everything that I command him. Now, Jesus was this foretold prophet, and he himself even said in John 5, 49, that Moses wrote about him. All right, so these texts that we've looked at so far foretold Jesus coming to destroy the devil and coming as a great prophet. Now, let's look at an Old Testament text that foretold of him coming as king. Isaiah 9, 6 through 7 says, For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be no end to the increase of his government or of peace on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness from then on and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of armies will accomplish this. So here we see Jesus prophesied as the coming king and that there will be no end to his reign. There are so many Old Testament passages prophesying many details of Jesus's life, death and resurrection action. But we'll just read one more, which talks about Jesus going to die on the cross for our sins. Isaiah 53, three through six says he was despised and we had no regard for him. However, it was our sicknesses that he himself bore and our pains that he carried. Yet we ourselves assumed that he had been afflicted, struck down by God and humiliated. But he was pierced for our offenses. He was crushed for our wrongdoings. The punishment for our well-being was laid upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. All of us like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. But the Lord has caused the wrongdoing of all of us to fall on him. So in this passage, we see that Jesus is foretold of dying on the cross, bearing our sins upon himself so that we can be forgiven. Pretty amazing that it's foretold so far in advance and that Jesus fulfilled it to a T. So just to recap, Jesus' coming was foretold far in advance and continuously throughout the Old Testament scriptures. Today, we just scratched the surface as there are many, many more passages we could have discussed. But go ahead and drop a comment below with any other passages in the Old Testament that you thought of uh, that point to Jesus. And now in the next study, we're going to talk about how the New Testament is also centered on Jesus. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.